we're going to play a game called eulogy. And what's going to happen is Steve is going to give a eulogy for somebody who's recently passed away. The only problem is he doesn't, he won't know who the person is, where the person was, or how the person died. But you're going to provide that for us. So what I need from you first is a famous person, a celebrity, a sports figure, a political figure, any Oprah. Oprah. Okay. Um, and now again, I'll need a specific location. The zoo. <laughs> Thank you, the zoo. Um, now I will need an unusual manner of death that may have happened at the zoo. Eaten. <laughs> what? <laughs> Eaten in the what did you say? Choking on Oprah. Choking on Oprah. I'm going to take choking on Oprah. I know that has nothing to do with the zoo, but I'm going to challenge you guys. So what's going to happen is Steve will come in and he's going to give a eulogy for the recently departed Oprah who uh, died at the zoo while choking on okra. <laughs> He's gonna have three minutes to figure this out. I will keep time. Uh, the actors here on stage will try and help him because obviously he's gonna be coming in with nothing. And uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, this is a very tragic day for this woman was very beloved to all of us and we're very sad to see her pass on to the great beyond but this is a woman who excelled in professional sports wait 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 did anyone check under the seats there might be a gift <laughs> she was a major television personality. I think we all like to watch a talk show in the afternoon. And of course, we're very, very sad to see the passing of Oprah Winfrey. But it is not just the fact that she died. It is the way in which she died that was particularly haunting to us. This is a woman who was out water skiing, who was... I told you, you, you shouldn't have fried it up. You shouldn't have fried it. This is a woman who likes making bacon? <laughs> oh, and, but she told me she needed it in the gumbo. She needed it in the gumbo. <laughs> Sometimes we like putting quarters in vending machines and tragic things can happen. Why did, why did she want to see the monkey house? Why? Everyone has their activities, and though she was famous, she liked to do everyday things, like go to the zoo. I bet when you cut her open, she's going to be all gooey inside. <laughs> So that was where she was. That was the location. I'm now assuming not her activity, but her location. But the manner in which she died, that is the thing that I find particularly vexing. She's worth so much more than five pounds for a dollar. <laughs> Gumbo was, Gumbo was her favorite. Soup. It was horrible. She always liked that last vegetable that goes in it. <laughs> she was dining at a Red Lobster restaurant. You know, she's getting kind of green and fuzzy. <laughs> she was in the back of the
the refrigerator. <laughs> She was a... How could something that sounds just like you be so harmful to you? She was eating okra! So now let me say, as she passes into the great beyond, we must pay our last respects to Oprah Winfrey who died eating okra at the zoo. Yeah!